Oltskin spent the final two weeks of training with the Black Zillions in Florida. Told him it helped him get rid of jet lag. Sparked exclusively with UFC vet Michael Johnson and top striking coach Henry Hooft. He's done a lot of good with Anthony Rumble Johnson and Nikki Holtzkin coming back from that left shoulder injury. What's yep. that belt? You know, and that left, left shoulder is really good for him right now. Practiced a lot of southpaws. As a matter of fact, Ramon Deckers used to force him to practice southpaw in the gym. Let's go to Tim Hughes for the official introductions. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this two-time world TNA Cup champion. He's also a WBKF European champion. His record, 51 wins with 10 losses, 24 big wins by knockout. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 167 and 1 half pounds, 76 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Russia, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Alexander the Great Stenson. Franco. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a three-time Dutch champion with an impressive record. 85 wins with just 11 losses, 45 big wins by knockout, and undefeated in glory. At 6 feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at 168 and one half pounds, 76.4 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, Nikki, the natural Holskin. And your referee in charge of the glory ring is Chris Wagner. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and ring, guys. No, 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 no. The bell and round one scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the glory welterweight division. The winner will face Raymond Daniels later tonight in the tournament final. Left hand immediately catches Stetsarenko on the face from Nikki Holtzkin. And it was a short left hook off a low kick. Holtzkin in the white glove, Stetsarenko in the black. Inside low kick by Nikki Holtzkin puts Stetsarenko down. Oh. High kick blocked by Stetsarenko, but plenty of pressure early from Holtzkin, who connects with the right hand, avoids a left hook, and then lands that Dutch style outside low kick. Stetsarenko using a lot more head movement than I've seen him use in the past. Yes. Yeah, but the, the problem with using head movement is that your legs are available to get kicked like that. <laughs> the Dutch style kickboxing on display from one of the best, Nikki Holtzkin who idolized the late Ramon Deckers, and there's a spinning kick by Holtzkin, and unfortunately the Golden Glory team suffered another devastating loss earlier this week with the passing of Ron Nightfist. May he rest in peace, a huge influence on a lot of people, a very close friend of our own friend, Boss Room. There's a spinning technique from Stetsarenko. Oh, short left uppercut on the inside by Stetsarenko. Okay, that kick he just threw, that outside stomp kick to the thigh, it's a unique kick. The only person I ever saw throw that was Maurice Smith about 15 years ago, actually. Very technical for Holzgen so far. Right hook on the outside. Left hook to the liver, one of his trademark punches. And there's a left uppercut again that connects for Stetsarenko. They're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe right in the pocket. That left uppercut of Stetsarenko has, has found his mark a couple times. But I don't think it's going to be a big problem for Nicky Holzgen. Final minute, there's a right hand left uppercut combination for Stetsarenko. So far, it's all Nicky Holzgen in the punching department. 23 strikes to 7 against Stetsarenko. Stetsarenko coming off the ropes with a combination. Outside low kick, they exchange low kicks. Stetsarenko is. Been in a trilogy of his own against a middleweight champion, Art Levin, defeating the man who's considered the best, one of the best fighters in the entire sport. We have a trilogy, of course, coming up in our main event. Rico Verhoeven defending the Glory Heavyweight title for the first time against Errol Zimmerman. In their rubber match, there's another left hook to the body by 
Holtz can but he eats a left hand from Stetsarenko. It was perfect timing because he caught the kick and then he threw the left hook as he let it go. And the same arm. Stetsarenko finding a home for the left uppercut, but there's a nice combination finishing off with a knee. Spinning back fist by Holtzkin. That's rare. It was a nice outside crescent kick, basically, that he landed. It was a, almost like an axe kick, but then the roundhouse kick came. So it's a plethora, a variety that Holzgen is attacking Stetsarenko with, keeping him guessing. Spinning back fist, lands, and then you know, Stetsarenko is coming firing back. It's a multifaceted fighter right there. Nikki Holzgen. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, wipe somebody. Whoa, 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 wipe some of this. Wipe this. Come here. Let's go. Fred. Fred, wipe this. Let's go. Wipe it down. All right. Let's go. Step back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Step back. Step back, Nick. Step back. Step back. Let's go. Fight. Stetsarenko won and won in glory. His last glory outing, a decision win over Kareem Magachi at Glory 13 Tokyo in December of 2013. Though Gaji won a decision over in the rematch, which took place in December 2014, as the second round begins. And again, Holtzkin, a heavy pressure fighter, loves to move forward from the opening bell, just sits in the pocket, has tremendous defense. He really does, and we just saw that as he checked that low kick. It was like textbook. Brings the leg up and then drops that his own low kick just like that. Measures him with the jab, delivers the low kick. There's a knee up the middle by Holtzkin. Push kick. See, Holtzkin is going to the leg to make Setsarenko think and forget about the boxer. Watch of heads. I'm good. I'm good. Accidental. Let's go fight. They're both leaning forward. Both want that inside fight. Again, Holtzkin continues to check the low kicks of Stetsarenko, but again, Stetsarenko nails him with the left uppercut on the inside, continues to score. Holtzkin comes back with a jab that splits the guard. It's almost like Holtzkin is buried under a bunch of trash and waiting like a sniper and landing every one of those shots. Tsarenko continues to return fire, however. Now the beautiful guard, and Tsarenko scores with that right hand behind the guard of Holtzkin. And see, now they're both throwing that little stop kick. Oh, triple left hand by Tsarenko. They're keeping everything tight. They're not loading up yet because they want to score. But Tsarenko's face tells the story. Stetsarenko trying to keep him at bay with the jab, but Stetsarenko continues to go on the attack with punches and kicks. Exactly, he's pushing the action. Final minute of the second round. Holtzkin continues to check the kicks, delivers a knee, but Stetsarenko stand right in front of him. There's a nice two-punch combination, culminating with that Dutch style outside low kick. And look at this, triple left uppercuts by Stetsarenko, straight up the middle. Plenty of technique on display. That hurts. Raymond Daniels awaiting the winner. There's a body kick by Stetsarenko, digging the way to the body with the left hand. Oh, Stetsarenko tries a spinning back fist. There's a spinning back kick that misses from the Russian. Left hand to the body, left uppercut to the jaw. And again, this shield back kick. It was shielded a little bit, but still, he's being the aggressor here. Yes, he is. Final 10, ten seconds, seconds of the second round. from Stetsarenko, body kick, left hook counter, and a left hand from Stetsarenko. How'd you score that one? That was, uh, that was a tough one to score. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with uh, Nicky Holzgen on that, that particular round. Had more volume. Stetsarenko moved forward though. But Stetsarenko hasn't been able to land that cleanly, other than
than the left uppercut, and he hasn't had that much power on that weapon yet. Glory 20 Dubai takes place Friday, April 3rd in the Desert Oasis City of Dubai out in the United Arab Emirates. Pat Berry is on the card facing Murat Guzzini in a heavyweight encounter while the main event will be for the featherweight championship. Canada's Gabriel Varga meets Mossad the Jaguar Amrani as Glory crowns its first 145-pound champion. Don't miss it. Glory 20 Dubai, Friday, April 3rd. Round three. Round three. Touch gloves. Touch them up. Touch them up. Back up. Back up. Let's go. Fight. Third and final round of the second semi-final matchup in the Glory Welterweight Contender Tournament. The number one ranked tournament favorite, Nikki Holtzkin in the white gloves. And in the black gloves, Russia's Alexander Stetsarenko. And immediately, they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Holtzkin hasn't been able to hurt Stetsarenko yet. That's the trick. He's waiting for that opening where he can land a power shot, but Stetsarenko is just not giving him any. Left to the midsection by Stetsarenko. Push kick from Holtzkin, then the double jab. Right hand blocked. Stetsarenko misses with a spinning back kick. Morrow, you and I saw Nicky Holtzkin do this where he played a rope dope in Glory 1 in Stockholm. And then he came back with three crushing left hooks to the body and three knockdowns and won the fight. I'm wondering if he's going to do something drastic here. Well, it's got two minutes left in the fight in order to do so. Has Densarenko along the ropes, but it's Densarenko who's going on the attack. And there's a left hook to the body by Holtzkin. Double left uppercut, jacking the jaw on the inside by Stetsarenko. And he's really targeted the chin with that left uppercut, but Holtzkin walking right through it. Yeah. Holtzkin is going to set up that liver shot again. But see, Stetsarenko is staying busy right here. These are going to be really hard to score, but we do have uh, Holskin ahead. 11 strikes ahead of Stetsarenko. Could be going either way. Three judges seated at ringside. Right. Holskin coming forward, but again, Stetsarenko off the ropes. Very active. Misses with the left hook. Graces the chin with that left hook. Holskin measuring him up. Left uppercut, three punch combination. Finishes off with the left hook to the liver. Look at that. Classic Mike Tyson. Right uppercut, right hook. I love it. Iron Mike in attendance here tonight. Stetsarenko firing back with kicks and a spinning back kick. Uh, back fist that was blocked. Final minute of the fight. Terrific technique on display. And they take turns attacking each other. <laughs> he tried a flying knee, but nothing doing. Stetsarenko's bread and butter punch has been the left uppercut. Holtzkin blocks that high kick. Holtzkin coming forward now. There's a rips of right hand to the body. But I have to say that Stetsarenko has been the busier fighter in this round. Left uppercut again, Stetsarenko. Knee by Holtzkin. Ducks under the way and lands those punishing shots. There's a knee. Holtzkin wanting to finish with a flurry here. High kick slips and falls. A very close semi-final bout between Holtzkin and Stetsarenko. And the official decision is coming up. Who will face Raymond Daniels in the final of this tournament? So they go the nine-minute distance. Lots of action in close, and Stetsarenko really did push the pace. He really did take the fight to Holtzkin, and yet Holtzkin maybe had the more punishing blows. Was it enough, Stephen? This is going to be an incredibly hard fight to score because the judges at ringside don't have punch stat and count the numbers up like we can here in the broadcast booth in the audience at home. Uh, this played out exactly as I thought it would. They were basically toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, doing the gunslinger thing, waiting for the other guy to draw him in the counter. But Stetsarenko, in my opinion, took that last round because he was the busier fighter. And Nicky did land the left hooks, and he did land some crisp shots, but it was the volume of punches that is going to look good to a judge. I'm not saying that Stetsarenko did more damage because probably Nicky Holzgen did the more damage, but he didn't really hurt the Iron Man of Russia. So 
Sensorenko coming up short on all those, but Nikki Holzgen blasting away with an uppercut, then a knee up the middle, and then a front kick a little low on that one. But see, a lot of these punches are being missed, and the kick was blocked, but they were busy. Neither fighter really appeared to be in any serious trouble throughout the contest. They took the full measure of the other. And uh, we await the official decision. Again, Nikki Holtzkin, tournament favorite, undefeated in glory. And the only reason he hasn't challenged for the glory welterweight championship was because of that shoulder injury. Alexander Stetsarenko. Getting the opportunity after Myrtle Gronhardt was ruled unable to compete. I'm wondering about that shoulder because he threw a lot of punches, but he never really had the, the knockout power that he used to have. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if it was, wasn't bothering him a little bit. I, I'd, like, I'd like to ask him afterwards. He did uh, face, uh, you know, took a few entry-level boxing matches, came off a, a tune-up in kickboxing, but not a lot of hard competition since winning that tournament in Japan. And he won all those with the left hook too. Right. Here are the official strike stats for this semi-final encounter between Nikki Holtzkin and Alexander Stetsarenko. So close in the punching department. Wow. Only two punches more than Stetsarenko, but the kicks may have iced it for him. Let's see what the judges think. Nikki Holzgen chopping over the top, spinning hook kick, but it was to the body and was partly blocked with a, uh, the arm of Stetsarenko. And Stetsarenko hung tough. But a lot of times, Nikki's defense was able to get out of the way, and the back fist you don't see too often from Nikki Holzgen. In the trenches, Stetsarenko was firing back, trying to pull this one out, because he may have been counseled by his corner that you might be behind, but Nikki Holzgen finishing strong. They're both blasting back at each other. Conserving the shots. They know this is a tournament But man, this was a technical joust with each other Let's go to Tim Hughes with the official decision All right, ladies and gentlemen after three rounds we send it to the judges scorecards all three judges score this bout 29 28 a unanimous decision for your winner who now moves on to the tournament final Nikki Holskin So Nikki Holskin survives a tough encounter with Alexander Stetsarenko and as expected by many fans and pundits it will be Holskin and Raymond Daniels